hi guys and welcome to unreal engine camera control tutorial developed using c plus plus that's what this tutorial is about there are two cameras on board and one shows the image while the other takes over so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you guys straight into unreal engine development environment and we'll create one together so let's do that now guys okay guys let's start a new tutorial i'm going to click on blank and instead of blueprint i'm going to select c plus plus desktop is selected here at the that's for the platform and the quality is maximum now i'm going to give my project a name i'll just call it how to control camera let's click on create now generating the codes okay guys the interface is ready now for development well, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of like modify the interface then uh, we can go straight into the code view itself okay i'm going to select details first of all let's right click on that and restore the the world outline and details let's restore that as well now i'm going to select this this floor right here just change the size of that to maybe about maybe 4.5 something like that okay you can see it's extended i'm going to repeat the same thing for this one right there 4.5 that's good okay then all i just need to do is kind of like position it properly the way i want all right that's fine so i've selected both of the floors i'm just going to move it in here a little bit there that is fine that's all okay that's cool now the next thing i want to do is go straight into my content drawer i will go straight into the starter content here and let's look for props right inside the props i'm going to grab this lamp just dump it somewhere all right we have a lamp in there and this lamp we have to kind of like flip it really so let's go to the rotation in here i'm just going to kind of like make that 180 there we go and i've just pressed end so that i can position the lamp right on my platform there i'll just drag it down okay bring it back up a little bit and there we go if you want you can always increase the size of the lamp but for now that's cool now let's go back in here and i need oh let's get grab some plants just dump that right there and hold on to your control w click drag okay that's that's all right so let's just copy that again control w maybe one more here all right so that's fine for now then i'm gonna go back in there let's grab something else anything that'll make it look a little bit interesting uh look at this bench here i'm gonna get, get hold of that drag and just drop all right so let's just pin that around all right maybe one more and now i'm gonna copy that into w let's move it all the way here okay looking good so let's go back in here i'm gonna click on add i just need some mannequin in there click on add and go to add feature of our component pack con content pack click on that we need third person click on third person add to project there we go it's added straight to project i'm gonna close this now and let's go back into our content drawer in there we now need the third person that is it right there okay so let's click on that let's click oh that is it i've seen it this is my third person good i'm just gonna grab this guy here just this mannequin just drop it there we need to move it up all right so let's yeah that's fine it's up okay make another copy hold on to your control or just press ctrl w and just move that to this side 
and I'm just gonna change one of them to a female mannequin maybe this one let's come down here there, there we go that is it you see the the skeleton now I'm gonna change that to a female mannequin there we go at least we have a lady in there too so that's fine okay that's that's very good so we already have one two camera okay now that we have two cameras we can kind of like change the direction or the position of this or oh, one other thing that you guys can do is you can always grab hold of your own camera though we're going to be using these two cameras as well but well, we can just use one of them so now what we then need to do is let's go straight into create here and you select place actor panel there and what we need is a camera in here inside this menu there's a camera somewhere all right we have cameras here so i'm gonna get uh, get hold of maybe this very camera there just drag it on board there we go i have a camera here and this very camera that i have there when i select it it's actually showing just the sky and so on so let's move it so that this camera is actually focused on all of the content I have in here so I'm just going to rotate it there we go look at that okay guys there maybe move it up a little bit and tilt it down so that's it looking downwards all right that's much better okay now we have all our cameras in place now the next thing we want to do is to go back to the place actor here so click on that and i'm just going to grab hold of this cube grab it and let's dump it right here the whole idea is for us just to add another camera to this very cube why this cube is selected let's go straight to details with the details here you click on the art look at it art components click on that there we go what we are looking for is camera okay let's come right down or we can just type it in let's see there we go we have camera here so i'm gonna click on that camera if i click on it the camera is officially added to this so when i click on this just like if we click on any of these we are able to see what's going on on the stage we click on this camera here the same thing and we click on this one the same thing now let's click on this you see that this cube is showing us just the sky that's what this cube can see so let's move it up and we kind of like tilt the tilt the cube down a little bit so let's do that now okay there we go that is the cube now you see the cube is now also acting on the camera there okay if i click on this camera we can see what's happening here click on this very one we can see that click on the cube and that is what the cube is showing us okay so that is fine now let's go straight into our content drawer here you see this folder c++ folder you should have a folder called c++ if you select c++ at the beginning you have this very folder double click on that very folder and in here right click and select new c++ class then select actor right here make sure after, after it's selected click on next and in here where we have my actor we now want you to give that a name okay let's change that to camera directors there we go and click on correct there it's compiling the C++ code as you can see so we should be able to get the header file and the dot C++ file there we go guys now the header file and the dot CPP files are both opened automatically if you don't have your soap all you need to do is to go straight to the solution explorer and right here come straight to the source and you should be able to drop this down as well you should be able to see your header files there and your that's your header file camera director and the dot cpp there that's all there is to that okay 
I'm now going to come straight to the header file here. That is it. Camera control dot header file. And in here, you see where we have public. Okay. Call every frame. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to declare a macro, a C macro called U property. See, the function of the U property is just for you to expose whatever variable that you have on the system. The U property, and I also want it to, I would say, edit anywhere. And if you're wondering what is edit anywhere, these actually indicate that the property can be edited by the windows. Okay? So, what I'm saying is the property can be edited by properties within Windows itself. That is what that means. Now, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to now call, let's say, a, a actor. And that is going to be a variable one that I'm going to call camera one. Okay, I have camera one in place. And in the case of the actor, see for actor it can contain a collection of actor component which can be used to control other actors. Okay, so I'm, I've just declared one for the camera, so actor will be controlling this camera number one. I'm going to create another one for camera number two. So let's copy this, copy, and come right down here, paste. Now I'm going to just change this one to camera number two there. And finally, underneath here, we're going to now use a float data type and we call that to next camera. So let's just say to next. Or we can just say change to next camera change. That is my variable in there. All right. So let's correct that problem. I'm just going to say to time to next camera. So this is going to be a float time that I'm going to be using to move from one camera to the other. I can make that like two seconds, three seconds or whatever. Okay. So the next thing now that we are going to do is let's go in here to the .cpp file. Now, inside the .cpp file, the first thing I'd like to do is I'm going to call the following header files. And one of them is going to be your famous Kissman, Kissman slash game, gameplay static dot h. So that's one of the libraries that I'm calling. The other library that I'm going to be calling is going to be my, let's go into my solution explorer here. I'm going to have to call this very one, look at it, how to control camera dot h. Okay, I need that. Okay, I'm going to right click on this, so that I'll just copy and paste it, grab that and come right in here, enter quotes dot h and there we go okay those are the libraries that you guys are going to need now the next thing is now the next thing is for us to call every frame and to achieve that what we have to do is to come right down here you see where we have take right here call every frame okay so come right down here and the first thing is I'm going to create a constant, constant value. So the constant value can be two pounds and that's how it's going to be just two pounds. But this time around we're talking of the time in between the movement of that very camera. So I'm going to say time between camera. Time between camera change equals, let's say, 2.0f. That is two seconds, okay? Two seconds dot zero. The f it stands for float. 
it can be 2.5 or whatever but two seconds that is fine the next thing is I'm going to create another constant and this other constant that is going to be how smooth is going to the, the changing to take over so let's just call that smooth blend smooth blend time that will be equals let's make that 0 0.75 f there and the next one now is going to be time to the next camera so let's grab that in here this is the variable here time to next camera change let's grab that i'm going to come in here and that is just going to be time to next camera that is going to be delta time delta time is about my the time on your computer system or on your laptop so that is the delta time that is minus equals delta time now that all of that is taken care of we now want to use an if statement to validate whatever time is it is if time to next camera change is less than 0, 0.0 float no parenthesis then the condition is going to be time to change time to next camera change equals time between camera grab that time equals plus equals time between camera change enter semicolon there okay so that is one now the screen is going to be nested so in here we're going to then say a player the player controller that's going to be our player controller okay that's going to be our player controller and that will be equals game player game player column now I need to get the player get player okay so the get player that will be get player control get player controller this very one here there this comma zero there we go now that that is done since we've got the player the next thing we now want to do is we're now going to use an if statement to check our player controller here so i'm going to say if our player controller if player controller in that case if player let's say player controller dash gets view target get view target yeah so enter parentheses in here and if it is not if it's not equals camera number one and and camera number one let's grab camera number one not equals nothing in our case this is what we want enter a statement in here so let's get this one sorted that should be get all right so here is going to be our player controller dash set camera one so that is going to be for us to set the camera one itself so i'm just going to grab all of these and change it around paste that here and this is set get rid of all of these there and enter parenthesis here or semicolon all right so that is taken care of else i'm going to grab all of these come right down here else if so if it's player number two in this case change this one to two i'm coming here if it's camera number two sorry change this one to two if it's camera number two and if in this case if it's nothing let's change this 
so what we happen is player our uh, player controller dot set targets with that should be with blend and the blend should be camera number two and we want it to run smoothly so I'm going to say smooth blend grab that smooth blend time paste that here and that is all there is to it guys so I'm going to save that and let's compile first so let's just click on compile and we we'll take it from there and there we go compilation is successful so so compilation is successful so let's go to my let's go to the unreal engine now okay right here inside the unreal engine we now need our project file which should be right here okay that is it there so you can see camera director I'm now going to grab camera director and I will drag it on board let's just dump it somewhere maybe but here there the camera director is there now that the camera director is there if you come straight to the details here or if you go straight to the world outline you should be able to see the camera director one that is it okay just click on it make sure it's selected and here is your variable camera one and camera number two so we have option one two three and this very cube in there which one do we want to select i'm going to select let's come in here this very first one i'm going to pick on let's say maybe camera okay i'm going to select this there and the next camera i'm going to select that of the cube there we go selected okay the next thing now is for us to let's run it and see how that's going to look like i will click on this right click on the wall view and just our uh, word outliner and collapse it or move it to the side repeat the same thing to the details and move to sidebar there we go so i'm now going to click on run there okay you see that the camera just flipped to that off the cube look at that that is how you create your own camera control you guys can hear some noisy background there so that noise should be coming is coming actually from the from the speaker that we have in here i think it should be here somewhere let's see if we can get rid of it okay select it and go straight to details and that is it right there click on edit there and that is my speaker right there i'm just going to hold on to alt key and click so i've disconnected it for now save that let's go back to my main project here now let's run it again run the camera should flip now you see that that is it and that's how you create your own camera controller okay in unreal engine using c plus plus so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now